Hello and very warm welcome to Swift Tutorials. In today's video, we are going to learn about how to integrate Google Map SDK in iOS, that is Google Maps integration in iOS using Swift 4 and Xcode version is 9.2. In our last video series, we learned about MapKit, that is the default Apple Maps provided in iOS, and now we are going to cover the Google Maps. Uh, and we will learn how to integrate Google Maps and place marker, draw directions or routes or polylines and some other stuffs. So let's start. Open up your Xcode and create a single view application project and name it Google Map Integration Swift 4. And I already created the one for myself and you can create your own projects right now. And if you're done with creation, then let's start. For installing Google Map SDK, we have to go to browser and let me open your google.com and search Google Map SDK iOS. When you search right here, when you search, you will find these kind of results and click on this Google Map SDK for iOS. You will navigate it to this page. And here you can see a bunch of tutorials that are displaying how that that are telling that how you can use. So we are more focused on these guides. This this lets us a step by step instruction. That is step one, step two. That how we how we can install Google Maps in iOS or Xcode. So for this, so it said get a latest version of Xcode. So it say use you need version 8.0 or later so we have Xcode 9.2 and we fulfill this requirement so here we have installed the SDK you can use Cocoa Ports or man install manually we will use Cocoa Ports so for using Cocoa Port you have to install Cocoa Port first using this command so you what you can do go to terminal and just paste this command if you haven't done the Cocoa Port installation so far so if you have already installed Cocoa Ports, then we need to create a port file. So for port file, you have to do this step. I already installed the Google Map SDK because it's a time consuming process and I have slow internet connection. So I already installed those. So for this, first you have to do, look here. First, I use the command CD. Okay, and this is the part of my project where my project is located like this here google map google map and here sorry 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 here it is you have to navigate to the path until you find this file so if this is my path i what i what you have to do just type cd and just drag and drop and drop here so it will do this path here and press enter when you press enter then the next command will be port init when you do port init this kind of file is created this port files open up it with the text editor so here it is and then you have to install those ports like this google ports google map and google places but we required only google Maps, so i copied this and paste it here in google maps and then i go back to terminal and press the command port install so when you do this type of command it's just terminal will reflect some of these codes or you can say lines that is analyzing dependency downloading dependency and here you would say installing google maps and the version of the google map right here 2.6.0 when it's finished it says that please close any current xcode versions and use google map integrations with your project name and xc workspace file so for this i have to close it and i go to finder and here you can see the file google map xc workspace is created so i have to open it with my xcode and if you are done with board installation just open this xc workspace file and if you have any problem then please do comment that you are getting what problem i will try to create a video for that a short video for that so here we open up and now we are done with this step these kind of steps board installed and we are done with step of three of step 3.7 so now it's time to get an API key but before that let me do one thing 
because sometimes what happens the ports are not imported so for this first use go to product and create comma build you can do it alternate by using pressing command and b for y key in your keyboard and we build it so that it we compile our ports we just installed so if you are getting this type of error that when you are trying to import google maps and it's not coming then you can do this thing that you can build it first and then import it like this okay so now we have successfully added ports to our xcode and it's important importing perfectly fine so now it's time to get an api key so when you click on get a key you can see select or create a project so when you select or here we can see create a new project so if you tap here you have to give a name to your project and you created a new project successfully so i uh, i already created some of the projects so i will use my existing project my project 2 and here it is and i will press next so it will give me a api key for the project the google will provide an api key so that we can use it with our google maps yeah here it is so just copy it and i will copy it and just comment it okay so now we are done with the api key and here we said done so here now if you don't want this time you can go here google api console and get the api key and okay so now the api key is added so now we have to start working on integrating google maps in our app so open app delegate dot swift as the google documentation is telling us so we go here and here we need to import google map google maps and here the next step is they say just just write gms service provider api key and then api key and if you are using the place api we are not using so we didn't consider we will not consider this step so we have to set tell the g google map services that our, our api is so go to xcode and in application did finish launching okay let me make it bigger in application dot finish launching you say gms services dot provide api key and here we will write down our api key we save in our view controller dot swift here it is and this provides the api key to our google map services so it knows that whatever restriction or what other services we are using because so there are so many services google is providing so now we are done with this api key is in so now step six to add a map so in order to add a map they told us go to the class where we want to add the map so we are adding it into a view controller and here we goes to view controller and here we will importing i already imported google maps so here we need to create a camera like they are saying the camera and gms camera position dot camera so let's type let camera is equals to gms camera position dot camera so this is a convenience constructor to create a gms camera position as for the latitude and longitude so here it's it's asking us three types of parameters that is latitude longitude and zoom whatever zoom we want the map to and here we go here and we will find lat long dot net I think I typed it correctly 
and here it is so here it is and I will type it's new Delhi and here it is it's give me latitude and longitude for the New Delhi and I will say I will give it to Parliament of India so it is the Parliament of India's latitude and longitude I copied it here and enough for I will copy it to this and the longitude to Pengu so here now we are left with the zoom level you can consider the GMS camera position is like a camera that is positioning to a certain location or certain position so that you can view it in the Google map I think Google map is considering that you are viewing as a camera to, to different locations so here if we go to the Google map documentation we can see the zoom and zoom is 6.0 they give it so here we are also giving it 6.0 and we will see that later and we have a here we have zoom and now we need to create a map view object so here we say let map view is equals to gms map view and here we say n dot map with frame and here we will put contact for each distance of zero and camera our camera okay now here the last thing they are doing here they are assigning the map view or adding the view to our view controllers view so here they say like we will assign self dot view is equals to map view so the map view will display on our screen so let's run the app and see if we are able to see the map so I am running it now it's building and the build is succeeded so we have done a pretty good job so far and our simulator is launched soon here it is now let us see whether we are able to see the google maps or not so here it is now it's no marker is there so let's play with the same level i will say it's 16 and see what happens So here we are zoomed in, more zoomed in. So lesser is the value, so we are lesser zoomed in, the more is the value we are more zoomed in. So you can set more is the value, you will more zoomed into the map. So here we can see the Parliament of India here. Now the next step is that to declare the URL scheme used by the API. So this is required because whenever user tap on this Google button it needs to be detected to the Google map browser maps.google.com so here we copy this and we copy this thing and we will go to our plist file let me open this and here and here we double click it and open as source code the source code and here in dict we will copy it and paste it so here we again let's right click it or and we say property list so you can see here the schemes are added okay so we follow that step two now the next step we are done so the next step or last step we need to show a marker like this so here we need to create an object of GMS marker let marker is equals to gms marker and here it's a position is so we will say 
cl location coordinate and this it requires this and this we have to copy is the location of latitude the parliament of indian parliament and here the longitude okay so now the next thing it says that position they have given it like this way i directly give it in the constructor so here we need to give title and snippets so here marker dot title is equals to indian parliament and here marker dot snippets it will be a subtitle is equals to new Delhi India and here we will say map view dot and say it's quite it's a little bit different than marker dot map is equals to map view like this so now let's use our application and see if uh, we are able to see the marker or not so here marker is there and it's the parliament of india when we tap here and here is the indian parliament new delhi india so this is the Google map SDK integration and this is part one of our series. So if you want to know, you will see more clear. So this is the part one of our series and if you like this video then please give it a thumbs up and if you dislike it then please tell the reason for disliking so that we can improve ourselves. And do share this video and do subscribe to our channel so that you can get updates for our future video release and let's make it 18 because 20 is too more now it's perfect and thanks for watching this tutorial have a great time and bye for now and don't forget forgot to subscribe it so that you can stay up to date for our few new video release. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.